asking all them questions. Asking all them questions. Why are you asking all them questions? Your top 10 audible rappers. That's a really good question. My top 10 audible rappers, not in order, but I'll say Nino, NMT Nico, myself, OTG Stiffy, Gigi Chevy, Lido, FTG Metro, Toka De Niro, Two Time, and Night Lovell. Lyrically, I feel like we're the best. Why is your voice so sexy? Puberty. Is there a story behind the song, Best Friend? Um, yeah, kind of, kind of. You know, I was inspired by a relationship, the type of relationship that one of my friends was having. But fun fact, I wrote this song under like 15 minutes. And what inspired me to do with this guys who were like texting my girlfriend at the time you know like i was kind of like tired of it i don't want to say it's like a diss track but like yeah it's, it inspired me to do it you know like stop with that texting you'll be looking desperate stuff like that like like that was a message to them basically like basically any type of guy who is like that when a girl is in, re in a relationship you know you gotta have respect favorite and least favorite song of yours my favorite song right now It'll be unique because I love, you know, the beat to it and the intro and outro. Shout out to Roman Stacks for that. And my least favorite song, I'll say it's Mona Lisa, you know, because the song, like, yes, it's kind of like a love song, but like, I pretty much did it as like a challenge, you know? Like, I'm like, you know what? Let me do something for the ladies. It wasn't like, oh, you know, I'm in love and blah, blah, blah. So let me make a song about it. What motivates you as a rapper? The fans pretty much, you know, when I see that I'm making progress and people telling me that it's good and stuff, you know, how much they appreciate like the fact that I'm unique, original with my songs. I don't sound like everybody like in the city. And you know, basically basically every rapper in general, like, you know, it just keeps me going, keep, keeps me like from like trying new things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you think that you'll try new musical styles in the future? Yes, I can try, you know, if I feel inspired with some things, I'll, I'll try it. Who is your biggest inspiration? I'll say my mom, some other family members, and a lot of rappers, you know, because that's what I like with hip hop, you know, because when you hear people's story, you're like, wow, he had it worse than me and look where he is now, you know, so that, that's what that was motivating me. Do you want to make a rapper career or just a hobby? A career. I would love to go far with it. Are you going to make a song in Creole? Of course, of course. You know, whenever I'm inspired to write something in Creole, like a, a Haitian artist want to make a song with me, I'll do it, of course. What inspires you to write rap? I mean, a lot of things, you know? A lot. It could be because I'm angry, because I'm sad, because I'm happy, or just want to brag and stuff. Like a lot of things. Like it just comes like this. Are you trying to send a message in your songs? Of course, of course. Like if you listen to my music, you you'll know. When is the Snoozy merch coming? We want the merch. That's a good question. And I'm working on it. You don't have to worry, I'm working on it. Talk to us a little bit about relationships. What qualities do you look for in a woman? Or what flaws can you tolerate? And what does a man has to offer? Basically, how can I say that? Any woman, you know, with a goal, you know, with a purpose, you know, like, if you're like partying all the time, you know, like you just, you know, you're like partying all the time, you're doing drugs and stuff, like, uh uh, like, you know, a man will tolerate your flaws, but not your bullshit, you know, so that, that, that's, you know, that's not the type of woman I'm looking for. What a man has to offer, you know, basically, you know, love, protection, all that cliche stuff. And yeah, I don't want to talk about it 
too much you know going details with it but yeah it could be for another video but yeah next question how and when did you start up with music i mean music of, has always been a part of my life i would always listen to music different types of music but yeah i started with beatboxing you know with talent shows and stuff i learned a couple of like how to play a couple of instruments but yeah the rapping it came like i always loved rap but it came later you know when i was writing stuff and i won a contest a poetry contest and i was like you know what maybe i got what it takes to go further with it can you write lyrics under your music videos i'll work on it and yeah go you can check um my genius page i guess we can say just go on genius and yeah you can find some of my songs lyrics on it what inspired you to write i'm okay mm, what inspired me to write i'm okay um basically um hypocrites you know I don't want to say that I was like, you know, depressed and shit, but I was, you know, how can I say that? I had friends who turned their back on me and, you know, like I was in the, in the place that I'm like, who can I trust? You know, like if I'm in trouble, who can I call and will actually try to help me and stuff? Who can I talk to about stuff? And yeah, basically this. How long is your slum? It's actually inches. You got a lady friend? Of course, bro. Who doesn't have a female friend? What Canada's like? Extremely cold on winters and extremely hot on summers. Like, it's quiet, you know, it's peaceful compared to America. But yeah, like, like I would say, it's kind of like America except without guns and free healthcare. So yeah. Do you ski or snowboard? Nope. What what's the place you would like to go in the future? What place you would like to go in the future? Uh America. Like probably like New York and Florida because I got family there. Um Brazil, I would love to go to Brazil. Africa, I would love to visit like one country in Africa at least once in my life. And for Europe, I would love to go. I would love to go to Japan. And for Europe, I would love to go to either France or Germany because, yo, my fans in Germany, I see y'all, man. I like that. Like, shout out to you guys. Disneyland or Disney World? I would say Disney World because I never went to Disneyland. And Disney World, I guess it's bigger. And yeah, I, I love my experience there. I would love to return. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Xbox or, PS or PlayStation? Hmm. Back then, you know, when it was the 360 and PS3, I would have said 360, but now I'm going to say PlayStation. Anyways, that's it for the Q&A video. I'll probably make one you know, later on in life. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I got more content coming soon. Shout out to the people who collaborated and helped me for the album Only Child. Shout out to my fans in Germany, you know. And yeah, got video clips coming soon. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya. Yo, yo. She feeling the voice, she feeling the vibe, she loving everything about me. They feeling the music, feeling the style, but back in the day they would doubt me. I rep in the crows, I rep in the east side, and I share this shit proudly. She got them white toes, taking the deep dive and ride it like a mountain. I do not get it.